Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python programming series. Today's focus is on while loops and control statements, both essential components in Python programming. Let's dive right in. First on our list is the concept of while loops. A while loop keeps executing as long as a certain condition holds true. It's incredibly useful when you can't predict how many times your loop needs to iterate or when the iteration depends on a variable condition. For instance, consider a home automation system that needs to regulate heating based on the room's temperature. A while loop could be used to continually check the temperature and trigger the heating when it drops below a certain point. Without the while loop, you'd need to manually monitor and adjust the temperature, a task that is neither practical nor efficient. So to demonstrate this, let's write a basic while loop that has a simple counter. We'll set a variable C to zero. Now we will write our while loop. While C less than five. Inside of this loop, we'll instruct Python to increment our variable C by one and then print out the new value of C. On execution, you can see that the values from one to five are printed. Why is that? Well, we can see that C starts from zero, increments by one every time, and then gets printed out. So one, two, three, four, five. At five, the condition five less than five evaluates to false and the while loop breaks. Let's move on to control statements, the exciting part of loop structures. Control statements can significantly alter the usual flow of execution in loops. We have three primary control statements, break, continue, and pass. The break statement is up first. It allows us to terminate a loop prematurely. We can demonstrate this by initializing C to zero and setting up the exact same while loop, but instead adding an if statement in this while loop. This conditional statement will be after our increment. And we'll say here, if C is equal to three, then break. What that does is upon running this code, you'll observe that the numbers one and two are printed, but the loop halts after C is equal to three. So break comes in handy when you've reached your desired outcome and you want to exit the loop. Next up, we have the continue statement. The continue statement lets the loop keep running, but it skips the rest of the current iteration and moves on to the next iteration of the loop. Again, we can see this with our example. If C is equal to three, continue. What that does is when the value of C is equal to three, the print statement afterwards gets skipped. And we can see in our console, the values that get printed out are one, two, four, and five. So what continue does is skip everything after in that current loop iteration and go back to the beginning. Last but not least is pass. Pass is essentially a do nothing command. It serves as a placeholder and allows you to structure your code even if you haven't decided what should go in a certain block yet. Now, let's quickly summarize what we've learned in this video. We've explored while loops, which keep executing as long as a condition is true. We've also learned about control statements. Break stops the loop prematurely. Continue skips the current iteration and moves on to the next one. And pass is a placeholder that allows you to structure your code without necessarily implementing it. That was an overview of while loops and control statements in Python. Thanks for listening guys, and I'll see you in the next video.